What's up friends, welcome back. So we're jumping right into this look using the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice palette. I definitely don't use this bad boy enough, but he is so cute. The first shade we're going in with is Pumpkin Spice, which is this lightish orange shade. This is gonna be the first color that we put in the crease. Next, I'm taking Ginger Spice, which is a more of a deeper orange, and this is gonna go right over Pumpkin Spice just to create a little depth, a little definition. I'm really taking the time to just create like a gradient effect. So next, I'm going in with Spice Spice Baby, which is a little bit darker than Ginger Spice, but not much, but this is gonna go focused on the outer crease, followed by Warm and Cozy, which is like a really pretty burgundy, shade i'm focusing this towards the lash line and then slowly blending it up taking a lot of time to go back and forth between my brushes just to make sure it's nice and blended All right, moving on to the lid. So I'm kind of just seeing right now how this is gonna look. Um, this shade in the palette is called Fall Vibes. Super pretty. In the pan, it comes off a little green, and that's why I was trying to figure out like if that's the way that I want it to go. But once I put it on my lid, you can tell it's just like this really beautiful gold payoff. It doesn't have the green reflex that I thought it might, but super pretty. Just taking the time to press it onto the lid, go back and forth with the brush that I used to apply Warm and Cozy and blend it out. Onto liner, this is my, what is this? Hmm, Maybelline Line Stiletto. Just kidding, I lied. NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I, I typically would speed through this, but I just want to show you guys um, the process for putting together a wing liner. So much fun. Right over top of that, I go in with my Duo Brush On Adhesive Glue. This is the dark one. Um, honestly, I just kind of follow right along where I place that liner and then pop on my lashes. I use Beauty Creation. I believe I use the style 1 million. So I'm placing that right along the lash line. Um, afterwards, I typically would go over again with the liner just to make sure that everything is still smooth and even and make sure that our line is nice and precise. Okay, I cannot be the only one that is obsessed with that album. It's too good. Too good. So we're doing some green contouring. This is Tarte Shape Tape. Shade is Deep Sand. I like to spread it out with a brush. I go back and forth between this brush and also my foundation brush just to make sure it's nice and smooth and blended. And then I take a little bit of time to do my nose as well. To conceal and highlight, we're using shade medium first and then going over top of that with light medium. The balance of both of them, I feel, gives me the best coverage and brightness for my skin tone. I've been liking to blend it out lately with a brush, which is not typically like me. I usually use a sponge, but I don't know if I'm too lazy to go wet my sponge or what the case is. I've been using a brush lately and it seems to be working pretty well. 
I start with like a smaller brush to get right under the eye and then take a little bit more of a fluffy brush to blend out the edges into the cream contour. You'll also see me grab my foundation brush and just really make sure everything is nice and blended. Make sure we don't have any harsh transitions between the two. I like to take whatever is left on the brush and highlight right under the cream contour. I just think this gives it a nice chiseled look to the face. Okay, okay, next we're gonna set the whole face using Milk Makeup Translucent Medium Powder. I'm basically going all, all over the entire face, the cream contour, the highlight, everything to set uh, with this powder. I then go in with a smaller brush and kind of get under the eye a little bit more since we tend to crease and also to set the concealer. Now we're going to set the cream contour. I'm using Hoola by Benefit. Just gonna get the forehead, the cheeks, under the chin, and the nose. another moment okay wet and wild keep it peachy blush I've been loving this blush I think it just gives a nice sun-kissed vibe to the face I'm feeling it now we're gonna set using Becca let me get the shade here because... oh, no okay this is vanilla quartz all over the face the nose and then also to highlight the inner corner of the eye. Earlier, I definitely said set, but I meant to say highlight, of course. And I'm also gonna go over top of that with Vegas by Anastasia Beverly Hills and just give us a little bit more glow because I can never just use one highlight. I'm using a liner by Dosa Colors. The shade is Unbox. It's this really pretty brown. I'm gonna use this to line the waterline. I just like how it gives it a nice warm vibe to the eye. And to really blow out that lower lash line, I take a mix of the shadows, Warm and Cozy, Ginger Spice, Spice Spice Baby, and get it nice and blended. Setting everything using Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And then we move on to lips. This is Cork by MAC. And I believe I'm going to start talking, so I will let that take over. Bye! My camera always dies right before my lip. So I, like always, went and did my hair really quick. Um, originally I put cork on for lip liner, but I'm gonna go in also. Let's do Vino by MAC. I wasn't sure if I was gonna do like a nude lip or a plum lip, so I decided on plum. That's why I'm going over this with Vino. This Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit uh, by Wet n Wild. The shade is Wine is the Answer. I've never used this, so let's see how it looks. It goes perfect with Vino, I'll say that. It's like the same exact color.
Um, this says it's a high shine lipstick. I definitely can see the shine. Um, I personally like that. I don't like how a really matte liquid lipstick looks. It just kind of looks like a little crusty and dusty, you know? But this is nice. I don't know if I've used this formula before. I don't think I have. What do we think about this lip? I kind of, I'm kind of loving it. So I could have gone a couple ways with the lip. Of course, I could have done typical nude, which to me, nude lips is like a year round vibe. You cannot go wrong. Any season, any type of look, nude can pretty much go with everything. I also could have done a red. I actually did take out Dance With Me by MAC liquid lip. That would have gone perfect. And honestly, this look is just such like an overall holiday vibe. It can be fall, it can be winter, Christmas, New Year's. I just think it has like the right amount of drama for holiday looks if you're gonna be taking photos if you're going to a party safely of course it's holidays and thanksgiving coming up i wanted to create this look just to kind of give you some ideas on some glam i mean i don't know about you but personally i will be in full glam in sweatpants in my kitchen cooking up thanksgiving whether you're hosting cooking yourself or going to a family's house this is definitely a great holiday vibe to show up take pictures look good feel good i hope you guys have a very happy thanksgiving please be safe have fun hope you guys enjoyed this look please give it a thumbs up if so don't forget to subscribe before you leave and i'll see you guys real soon in some more videos bye